Welcome to my channel Autocar 090M7 medium tank was developed at a time when the US Army was rapidly evolving its doctrine and vehicle lineup to meet the growing demands of global combat. Originally designated as the T-7 light tank, it was meant to offer better protection and armament than the M3 and M5 Stuart light tanks, while keeping the weight and agility that reconnaissance units valued. As the prototype development progressed, however, the weight of the design began to increase due to requests for thicker armor and a more potent gun. This escalation in requirements eventually pushed the tank into the medium category, and the designation was changed to M7 medium tank. The tank was fitted with the 75mm M3 goon of the same primary weapon used in the early versions of the M4 Sherman. This made it one of the most heavily armed light class tanks on paper, as it promised to outgun many Axis reconnaissance and early medium vehicles. The M7 also carried a .30 caliber coaxial machine gun and a .30 caliber bow gun for anti-infantry defense, with a .50 caliber heavy machine gun mounted on the turret roof for anti-aircraft or high-angle engagements. The firepower package was solid, and in testing scenarios, the tank proved capable of hitting targets accurately thanks to a decent gun stabilization mechanism for its time. One of the distinguishing features of the M7 was its compact hull and turret design. The hull was welded for structural integrity and featured sloped armor that enhanced deflection against enemy fire. Though the frontal armor was relatively thin at around 51 mm, its sloped geometry offered better effective protection compared to flat plating. The turret was cast and housed the five-man crew WA commander, gunner, loader, driver and assistant driver allowing for clear task division and streamlined operation during engagements. Inside the turret, ergonomics were key focus, with ammunition storage and instrumentation designed for quick access and efficiency. The M7 was powered by a Continental R975 radial engine, producing 400 horsepower. This was the same power plan used in the M3 Lee and early M4 Sherman tanks and it gave the M7 a respectable top speed of around 30 to 35 miles per hour, depending on terrain. The suspension system was based on the vertical volute spring design, familiar to US tank crews and mechanics, offering decent ride comfort and reliability over rough terrain. Its compact size and lighter weight compared to the Sherman allowed it to maneuver more easily through narrow roads, forested areas and makeshift bridges that were unsuitable for heavier vehicles. The M7 medium tank, often overlooked in the broader history of American armored development, represents a traditional concept that tried to bridge the gap between light and medium tanks during World War II. Initially envisioned as a heavier replacement for the M3 Stuart light tank, the M7 was intended to provide better firepower and protection while maintaining the mobility that characterized U.S. light armor. Its development began in 1941, and early prototypes showed promise with a compact design and relatively powerful 75mm gun. However, the tank's evolution encountered technical challenges and shifting battlefield requirements that ultimately limited its production and deployment.